Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Big Akra Ahmed, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about our home country, the United States of America. We have Donald Trump, Joe Biden, running for president elect. In the next coming months, we have an election. We are going to be switching presidents or keeping the same president. And right now is a very, very, very scary time for Americans. And they continue to use this tactic election after election after election. And at this point, right, and I always believe this, and I've been called a conspiracy theorist and I'm crazy, but I always said that the president is just a face. He's there to keep you distracted while the people in the background who actually make the decisions, the people that have always been here that run the show, these companies, these corporations, these Supreme Court justices, whoever the case may be, these supreme families, the elites, whatever you want to get into it, are actually making the calls, the shots. And when we look at history, when we look at how laws are changed, when we look at how foreign deals are made, it's always made in a time like right now, where people are really distracted by this, you know, smokescreen show that is being presented. Right now, our president is Joe Biden. And Joe Biden cannot complete a full sentence. A man who cannot even complete a full sentence, he doesn't even know what he's saying, he can't walk up steps, he like it's actually wild to say that this man is running one of the superpowers of the world, one of the strongest nations that has ever existed in the whole entire history. He is a leader of over 500 million people. This is like a fantasy world we live in. It's like watching Cartoon Network. It's a cartoon. It's not real. And if people haven't woken up by now to see that this is not real, that this guy, there's no way this guy has his hand on a nuclear button. He's running an army. He's doing any of this stuff. He's having conversations with foreign leaders very, very, very prominent people in foreign countries like you know Putin and things of this nature. He has to deal with these people who have been in power for 20 plus, 30 plus years. You're out of your mind. You're literally out of your mind. You're playing into your own ego. You're playing into the left, right you know, game. You're playing into the Democrat, Republican game where they got you. They literally have you and you can't see past the smokescreen. Donald Trump, he's not a great option either. And I'm so, so sick of seeing that there's independents, the independent runner-ups, the people who actually are younger, they have more will, they have more a say when it comes to all of these different issues that we're actually undergoing in the United States of America. They get thrown to the side. Why? Because they're not entertaining. They don't have a million, billion dollars going and backing them in their campaigns. And this is getting sick because if the American people actually woke up for a second and paid attention to who's running their country, right? Instead of just waiting until election time and being fed garbage through CNN and Fox News and all of these different outlets and watching, you know, the big clips of presidential debates like it's like it's the Tom Brady roast or Justin Bieber roast sessions, then they would maybe understand that there are problems in our country that need to be resolved. And these idiots are not resolving them. These idiots will never resolve them. And even if they had the power to, which I don't believe they do, I believe they're just puppets, their faces to keep us completely distracted to keep us separated while they run things in the background, then, you know, these are not the best people that we want to vote in. We want to vote the independents. But what do the American people say? Well, if I vote the independent, my vote's wasted. Uh, and, and what sucks about the United States of America at this point in time is, is people don't vote for who they want. They vote against who they don't want. So, for instance, if you hate Donald Trump, you'll just vote Joe Biden. Even if he can't complete a sentence, even if he's a potato, even if he's literally, he, he's being wheeled out in a wheelchair and he can't breathe anymore. If he's literally dead in his grave, you'd still vote for him just so you don't have Donald Trump. And vice versa. Just because you hate Joe Biden and he can't complete, complete sentences, you'll vote Trump. Just because, you know, you want to. Rather than listening to actually what these people are saying or understanding that there are other people out of the 500 million Americans that are a way better fit to run this country, especially for our next generation. Like we don't need 90 year old men who are literally on their deathbed to run our country. It's more better or better that we have someone closer to their 40s, 50s, someone who understands the younger generation the older generation, kind of in between that point, who's active, who can move, who can think, who has the will to do things, right? Someone who's not completely closed off in their mindset yet either. Like, especially when it comes to older 
individuals, and this is not to be, you know, prejudiced in any way, when it comes to older individuals, they're very closed off. Like, it's very hard to tell someone who's 80 years old or 90 years old or get them to change their mind on something or get them to be able to, you know, maneuver around. Like, they're set on their way of, of lifestyle. Like, you can tell, like, an, old, an older person, like, hey, just use email to get your bills or go ahead and pay your bill online. And they're like, no. And they'll still drive 30 minutes to the store to pay their phone bill when they could just set up auto pay. It's coming out of their bank account anyways. They have the money in there anyways. When they could click a button on their phone, they'd rather not learn something over 60 seconds because they can't. They physically just can't. And this is what we're dealing with. These are our two presidential elects at the moment. And it's so, so sad. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and check out some of these clips. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? A thousand trillionaires in America. Like, this is our president, ladies and gentlemen. They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2% in taxes. If they just paid 24% or 25%, either one of those numbers, they'd raise $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it. Okay, that's, that's incredible. This is our president. This is our president who runs the United States of America, one of the largest superpowers of the world. This is how he speaks. He cannot formate full sentences. He can't even look straight. He doesn't even know what's happening, right? He's stumbling in his head to figure out what he's going to say next. It's like his brain is loading what is next. And this is truly sad because he's an older gentleman, right? And this is his age playing into factor. This is his this is his will of, you know, not knowing even what's happening around him. And I blame him, and I blame everyone around him, I blame the American people, and I blame people for not waking up at this point. This is a cartoon, ladies and gentlemen. When something doesn't look real, when something looks fake, when something is perceived as bullshit, it is. This is complete BS, okay? And this right here is, 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 is what makes the world think Americans are stupid. This is what makes the world believe like Americans are dumb. When they see stuff like this, they know this guy doesn't run our country. Who's actually running the country? And I've been saying this for years and years since I was a child that voting doesn't even matter at this point because they prop up the two people who they put billions of dollars into and they choose them anyways and they're their little puppet and they do whatever they're going to do anyways and they keep you distracted while they're taking away your rights and while they're blowing countries up in, in other areas of the world, if that's the Middle East or, or, or Ukraine or, you know, putting sanctions on Venezuela and stealing their oil and doing all and destroying their economies. This is what they do while you guys and, and us as Americans sit here and argue, Joe Biden is not a talk. Well, Donald Trump is, is, is racist. Like, it's crazy to think that. Our presidents are like the roast of Tom Brady or the roast of Justin Bieber. Like we just we just wait every four years to see them roast each other and then have a fake vote on who's going to be the president so that the powers behind them can just do whatever they want anyways. Wake up. Like wake up. The American people need to look in to who the elects are, who are the people running for president, and then make a vote on who's the best option. Not a vote on, oh, I don't like Trump, so I'll vote Biden because he's the biggest, you know, it's either Democrat or Republican. That's who's going to win. There are independents that poop on these guys. They completely destroy these guys that are younger, smarter, more there in the head who actually want to do things for the country, but they'll never be voted in. And even if they were given the chance, they'd be booted out. Because, like I said before, I personally believe, and you can go ahead and do all the research you want, there's no way 
There is no way. Okay, with Obama, maybe. With, you know, Bush, maybe. Even though they're still not all there in the head. Maybe they were actually running the country. I don't believe that. I still believe there's always been a shadow power behind them. But maybe they played a better game at hiding the fact that there's something behind them, a shadow, you know, of power behind them that actually makes the shots, that actually, you know, makes the calls and makes the plans and does everything. But this, at this point in time, with Donald Trump and Joe Biden, are the American people so naive to actually believe these idiots run the country? There's no way. There's no way in the world that you guys, anyone, believes that this guy actually runs the country. He, he does anything at this point. He can't even walk up the stairs. He can't even get dressed. He can't even form eight full sentences. And I feel bad saying this because it's my president. And this is not what I want to say about my country. I love my country. I love my people. But it's crazy to think that this is my president. He's too old to function. And it's sad. It's actually literally truly sad because... Even though Donald Trump is old, he can form eight words. Is Donald Trump a great option? No, he's a terrible option. Everything is great. When I was president, it was great. The economy's great. I went to school and the kids were great. The kids love me. They think I'm great. Everything's great. Uh, we are the best. We're number one. Number one economy. Number one people. Number one in health. Number one in... Like, bro, who are you, gar who are you lying to? It's such like a garbage promotion too. It's so sad to see what everything has come to. And me, at the age of 10, I'm able to see this stuff. Through Obama. And, and, and through people who are charismatic and actually can speak and formate sentences. Now, at this point, people are still blind enough not to see that this is a puppet show. That this is a game to distract you while they're doing things in the background. While they're blowing up countries. While they're taking your rights away. While they're promoting garbage in the media. It's so sad. My position. In addition to that, we found ourselves in a situation where when he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, and then the families were separated. That's not the right way to go. What I've done since I've changed the law, what's happened? I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where there are 40% fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. The border, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. The way he talks like this, Donald Trump. It's like, <laughs> he's like every time he makes a point. Yeah, no one knows what he what no one knows what Biden said. And most people don't even want to hear what Trump has to say. It's entertainment at this point. It's like a roast session. And like I said, it's like watching a roast, it's like the roast of Tom Brady on Netflix or roasting Justin Bieber. It's like these comedy skits. And it's so sad that the leaders, the world's the world leaders for the largest superpower on earth, they're jokes. They're being laughed at. They're used as entertainment sources rather than an objective um, source of, of leadership rather than role models, rather than people we should be, you know, looking after and supporting. It's so sad to see the point of what American politics have come to today. It has come to the point where they think the American people are so stupid. When I say they, I'm talking about the people who actually run this country. They think the American people are so stupid that they will continue to push this garbage onto them to distract them, right? To the point where people know it's fake and they don't care it's fake. Until you aren't voting anymore. And you, this isn't a democracy anymore. And we don't have rights anymore because you gave them all up. Because even though they showed you how fake it was, and even though they showed you the worst of the worst, and they were giving you the worst options to vote for president, you did it anyways. And you don't care. You truly don't care. You'd rather fight your neighbor and your family on Facebook over blue and red, Democrat, Republican, Trump and Biden, than to wake up for two seconds, 
to wake up for two seconds. You don't even have to do research. You don't have to be political. You don't have to... And just use your brain, bro, for two seconds. Like, this is the leader of the, the, the free world. This is the person that ensures your security and your safety. This is the person who's going to draft you and put you into a war. Like, you need to understand, like, what's happening when it comes to this stuff. You don't have to do extensive research to listen, to just hear for 20 seconds, right? The, the, who's the runner-up? Who's the best option? I'm not going to vote for any of these idiots. And it's so sad that America has gotten to this point, and the world's laughing at us, and we're laughing at ourselves, and we're fighting each other, and it's sick. It's truly, truly sick. This is our vice president. I can imagine. And honestly, for someone who can form eight full sentences, she's worse than Joe Biden. It's so, so sad. And what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened? by what has been what we can see what we believe can be unburdened by what has been. what can be unburdened by what has been 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 who we can be unburdened by who we have been what can be unburdened by what has been where we can be unburdened by where we have been and unburdened by where we are right now what can be unburdened by what has been okay so this goes on for four minutes four minutes guys they're robots they're puppets they read a script they're actors none of this is real and like i said before if it doesn't look real if it doesn't sound real if it looks like a joke it is like, wake up for two seconds. This shit ain't real, man. This None of it's real. Like, why are we so naive to play into it? Like, why are you playing into it? You don't even, you don't care enough. You really don't care enough. You can per, you'd rather pretend that the system is completely put together, that none of this is, you know, none of this is fake, and they're not puppets, and there's no people running the show in the background, to go ahead and appease the idea in your head that this is real. I'm actually, like, mind-boggling. This is why I don't get into politics too much. I've gone ahead and gone the religious route because, to be completely honest with you, the only thing that can guide me, protect me, at this stage of, you know, humanity... And this stage of what the world is become is God Almighty. Is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only thing that can protect me? The only thing that can guide me? The only thing that can give me pure knowledge? No president, no rapper or artist or movie producer or um, you know athlete is going to go ahead and be a role model to me. This is disgusting. My role models are the prophets of God. The ones that he has chosen and the laws that God has ordained upon me and the people, right? I have chosen to go a religious route. I have chosen to get closer to my creator. My creator guides me in ways that I can never explain. In the most miraculous ways, he gives me things that I ask for by name, color, and in the most crazy ways that you could possibly think. And it's so, so sad that we've gotten to the point where there are no role models, there's nothing that go ahead and preach God, that follow God, that follow the laws of God. Everything that we see is satanic. Everything that we see goes against the laws of God and is to put you down. This is a joke. Our country is becoming a joke. And if we don't wake up very, very soon, we're going to be in a in a situation where we have no we have no option anymore. We don't have the power to make a decision. They're going to take our decision making away. They're going to take our democracy away. They're going to take it away because we know it's fake and we insist on believing it's real to the point where they're going to say, okay, well, you guys don't even care anymore. It doesn't even matter anymore. We're going to take your rights away and people aren't going to do anything. Maybe 20%, 30% are going to be p pissed off, right? But is the 20%, 30% enough? to go ahead and fight the 60, 70% who are, 
who are willing to defend the system. If you guys have never watched the movie The Matrix, I, su I suggest you watching The Matrix. And no, this has nothing to do with Andrew Tate and The Matrix. Watch the movie The Matrix. You would rather fight to protect the system that is keeping you comfortable because you live in this fantasy smokescreen, right? It gives you the illusion that your life is content. Then to break out of that comfort zone for a second to live in reality, yeah, it might be uncomfortable to live in reality for a second. To go ahead and make a difference, to make a change, to destroy what is actually oppressing you. And it's so sad to see what our country has come to. It's so sad that when I grew up in this country, my lovely country, my lovely people, that this is what it's become. That this is the greatest country in the world and the biggest superpower in the world. It's so sick. It's so sad. And I hope that every single one of you can see it for what it is. And you guys can go ahead and make your own decisions. This is America, the free and, you know, the home of the brave. And this is the country where freedom of speech is prevalent. So this is what I'm going to use the platform to speak about when it comes to the elections. It's a complete fake smokescreen puppet show. And this is why I personally don't vote since I turned 18. It's been about 10 years now. I haven't voted. I went through two elections. I believe this will be my third. And I didn't vote. Why didn't I vote? What, what are my options, right? The independent is my option. And even when I vote the independent, they don't win. They don't win. It's a complete game. It's a complete puppet show. And it's BS. Thank you guys so much for coming today. God bless every single one of you. And as always, free Palestine.